Since it is before game turn 7, the visibility is automatically clear. Start of the Allied Rally Phase. Units marked with a 1 are units which will attempt to rally. First we will attempt to rally Cromwell and the unit stacked beneath him. Cromwell adds a 3 to the disordered unit's morale which is 4. So it will automatically rally because 4 and 3 is 7 and no matter what Cromwell rolls it will rally. The next unit to attempt to rally is Sydney. He is not adjacent to a leader of the same color so he has to roll a 4 or less. He rolls a 5 so he fails to rally. The next unit is Fleetwood. He does not have a leader near him to assist in rallying, so he has to roll a four or less. And he rolls a four, so Fleetwood will rally. All right, moving eastward. We have the second Crawford. Here it goes. He has a two, so he must roll under that to rally. Rolls a six and fails to rally. And then we have Doddling, Doddling. Um, Fairfax is next to him, so he can add his one combat rating to Dodling's morale, making it a three. The middle figure is the unit's morale. He rolls a two, and Dodling recovers from his disorder. And goes flying across the map. And I think that ends the Allied Rally Phase. It is the Allied Artillery Phase. The two Allied Artillery Batteries on this hill will both fire on the Rupert Horse Unit they are firing at a 7 hex range, which means they will be on the 6 plus column of the artillery table. Therefore, they both will require a 6 in order to score any result. Or they'll, they'll, they'll require a 1 in order to um, get a result on the Rupert horse. So we are going to roll for both of them. This is the first die roll. It is a five and the second die roll is a six. So the Rupert horse is not affected by the Allied artillery fire. This is the position of the Allied units at the beginning of the Allied March phase. The Allied positions at the end of the Allied March phase.
allied attacks are indicated by the black and white markers which indicate the final odds of the combat to be resolved. The first battle to be resolved would be that of Leslie, Frazier, and Norwich versus the Royalist unit at 6 to 1 odds. If I can uh, pick this up. Um, Molyneux, Molyneux, something like that. Anyway, 6 to 1 odds. Rolls a 6, which is probably not great, in clear terrain. It's a defender disrupted. Two defender disruptions equal an elimination. So this unit is eliminated. The next battle will be, say, Kirk versus Took. That will be at two to one odds. And a six at two to one. In the open is a defender exchange. Just hoping not to see that. Uh, routed, uh, disordered units are eliminated and then the attacking units must disorder an equal number. Next battle is Balkars versus Tidsley at two to one. Rolling the five at two to one is a no effect. So they will be locked in battle. Well, not locked in battle, but they're in battle. The battle was inconclusive, I guess is what I'm trying to say. The next battle is Cromwell and the Cromwell unit beneath it. And I'm not sure how you pronounce what the name of the um, parliamentarian unit is. Bermidian, something like that. And this is versus Rupert. That's these two here are going to be attacking Rupert at the top. Uh, Two to one, I think I said. This is a risky attack, but if we can uh, disorder Rupert or whatever, that will be a good thing. We were all three at two to one. Two to one in clear is a defender dis uh, fin defender exchange, and that is not going to be too great for Cromwell because he's automatically going to have to flip his heavy horse unit pardon me Rupert is also exchanged however let me double check these rules here Disruption exchange. All disrupted defending units eliminated. All ordered defending units are disrupted. Attacking units who sprint in combat, or at least, are also disrupted. So Rupert, his horse, is disrupted. There's a strong chance that he, well, he can't rally, and neither can Cromwell, because both of them will be in... Uh, adjacent to enemy units. So that should prove amusing. Alright. Moving on down here to the next battle. Uh, Fleetwood versus Rupert's horse. Why Rupert isn't with his other horse, I don't know. Oh, he's with the guard. The reserve units. Alright, we have a one-to-one -one attack here. Fleetwood versus Rupert. A two. At, uh, what did I say, one-to-one? -one? In the clear, 
Ah, lovely. Another defender or disruption exchange, I guess is what I should be calling it. So Rupert's Horse and Fleetwood. Are disrupted. All right. The next attack is First Crawford versus Vaughn. That is a four to one attack. Eighteen divided by four. Yes, four to one attack. We'll see what happens with this one. Four to one in the clear. And what do you know? No effect. Roll the six. And that's unfortunate. For the par uh, for the parliamentarian person. Uh, now we have Bright versus Levinson at two to one. Levinson is already disrupted. We roll a one at two to one. In the clear, that is a defender disruption or elimination in this case. Converts to that. And then the next one is Rigby versus Newcastle at one to one. And that's not good. That's a six at one to one and clear. That's an attacker disorder or disruption. So Rigby comes disordered, disrupted, whatever the official term is. I guess I should look it up and find out. All right, and I think our last two battles is Fairfax. Um, there were two Fairfaxes. One was Thomas Fairfax. I think he had the horse in the east, on the east side, the right flank. And then there was another Fairfax, obviously, in the middle. I do not know exactly what his name was besides Fairfax, but I could look it up, I suppose. Three to one versus Moore. That's a two at three to one. That'll be a defender dis um, disruption. He's already disrupted, so Moore will be eliminated. Uh, these two are disrupted, so there's no battle there. We have the last battle down here. Maitland versus Chester at 3-1. to one. I've been rolling very high die. Clear, 3-1, to one, a 5. I think we all know that that is a no effect. So, that is the result of the Allied combat phase. These are the final positions of the units, sorry for the glare, at the end of the Allied Combat Phase. Next up will be the um, Royalist player's turn.